The opening weekend of IPL 2019 continues with a meeting between the two table toppers from the inaugural edition. And won't Rajasthan Royals and Kings XI Punjab hope they can turn the clock back to 2008 and start dominating this league again? Punjab have failed to light up the IPL in recent years. They've gone four seasons without reaching the playoffs. Season 12 for the Kings XI is kicking off from their least preferred venue. 17 IPL contests between these teams reads 10 to 6 in favour of the Royals. But if you're a Kings XI fan, you're looking at that other marker. Five matches played at the Savai Mansingh Stadium in Jaipur. Five losses for Punjab. There's a common factor though to these teams, uh, somewhat unique to both and one they must be very careful about. They're not short on overseas talent. Rajasthan, in case we're forgetting, are welcoming a certain Stephen Smith back from exile. But take a closer look and pay attention to those dates next to the players. Rajasthan Royals know from the onset that Joss Butler, Ben Stokes and Steve Smith will not be available after April. You know that those three players are going to go for the World Cup. Chofra Archer too could be a last-minute left-field addition to the English squad. And Ashton Turner? Well, ask Indian bowlers what they think of his potential. Then we look at Punjab. You see a few players with a clear schedule through the IPL, but they aren't what one would imagine are the first-choice picks. Chris Gale, David Miller, Mujibur Rahman, Andrew Tai, you would have to think have to be the preferred starters. But what's going to happen with these teams? They will enter the last week of the group stage action without these core players. So you're looking at two matches with a weakened playing 11 right at the business end. And what that means is that if they harbour any chances of going into the playoffs, both Rajasthan Royals and Kings XI Punjab need to look to win at least 8 out of 12 matches while these stars are still around. How do they go about doing it? We've identified two players who, in our opinion, hold key to their team's fortunes. You look at the Royals batting and you think Butler, you think Stokes, Smith, you think even Sanju Samson before you think of the captain. And there's good reason behind that. Ajinkya Rahani, in the last two seasons of the IPL, has gone into a bit of a shell. And that's a dangerous place to be in as someone who scores at a strike rate under 125 to begin with. That ability to play the sheet anchor's role and allow big hitting teammates to prosper wasn't present in the 2017 and 2018 campaigns. For Rajasthan to do well, while yes, they need the Butlers and the Stokes, it is also imperative that their skipper marshals not only the tactics, but also the batting order. Punjab? Yes, we know what you're thinking. You're thinking about the Gale Force, and why not? I mean, he's just coming off a series where he's hit 39 sixes in four matches, and that was an ODI contest, so just what could happen now that he hits the IPL? He's important, no doubt, is the universe boss. But we're going with Andrew Tai as the key figure. Because Punjab do have options to cover for Gale when he doesn't fire. They even have a bit of a battery of mystery spinners in their tank. But pace bowling, it's not as well stopped. And you look at the Australians' numbers. A late entrant to the IPL, he was with the Chennai Super Kings in 2015 and didn't get a game. He was with Gujarat Lions in 2016 and didn't get a game. Then finally got one in 2017 and what did he do? Took a 5-4 on IPL debut which included a hat-trick and then went on to prove it was no one-off by winning the purple cap last season with the Kings XI. It's a little tough to call this matchup. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments section and stay with Sportskeeda for more insights all through IPL 2019.